The Tosa Inu, absolutely beautiful dog. If you've never seen a Tosa, there's probably a good reason for it. In many places, they're banned as dangerous dogs. You're only able to own them if they're neutered. There's a good reason for it, friends. They are extraordinarily powerful. I've always said if a Chihuahua goes bad and bites you, oh well. If something like a Tosa Inu gets after you, there is no oh well. You're done. The Tosa Inu, or Japanese fighting dog, has a very interesting history, although it's not a very long one. You see, during the latter half of the 19th century, fighting dogs from the West were imported to Japan for the first time. You see, the Japanese had been fighting dogs for a very long while, but their dogs had been of the Lupoid, the wolf-like type, the Akita Inu, the Spitz-type dogs, the Shikoko. When the Western dogs began to beat the best that Japan had to offer, the Japanese got serious about creating not only a good fighting dog, but the finest fighting dog that has ever been produced. Some would argue that that is the American Pit Bull Terrier, an argument that is grounded in reality. It was said that when the very best of the Tosas were matched up against the very best of the American Pit Bull Terriers, there was somewhat of a stalemate. But usually, the Tosa's greater size carried the day. You see, the Japanese included many different lines into their own dogs that they had. They started off with their wolf-like dogs, the Shikoko and the Akita, and they added things, friends. There were four main lines at first, and some of those are very strange. The Mastiff-type line, and then they had the Pointer-type line, the Bull Terrier-type line, and then another one that would have been considered the Bulldog-type line. Soon, all of those breeds were being bred together to create this super dog, the Tosa Inu. A very different style of fighting in Japan, though. These dogs were bred selectively to fight in silence. They never make a sound, and that is the rule set of the Japanese fighting fraternity. Friends, I do not agree with any of these blood sports, although I am a sinologist and a breed historian, and I love the dogs. I don't agree with the history. But these dogs were born in combat, created to be the ultimate gladiator of the canine world, and the Japanese succeeded. As far as a man-stopping guard dog of the highest caliber, you really can't do much better than the Tosa Inu. The same qualifications that make them phenomenal fighting dogs, make them phenomenal protection dogs. Their willingness to endure pain stoically and silently Friends, this dog would never let you know that it was there, until it was. As far as pets go, there's going to be a lot of breeders that are upset with me if this video pops off. These dogs are not for you. They're not for the average person. They're not for me. They're for someone who has the space and the willingness to engage with a highly dominant dog. When the puppies are born, friends, they separate them at around six to eight weeks because the puppies will begin to fight and they will actually unalive each other. These dogs are not for the inexperienced dog owner. And there are many stories of them turning on their owner, mauling and taking human lives. That is why they are usually at the very top of the list when it comes to the dangerous dog breeds registry. But for the right person, the Tosa Inu could be a phenomenal protector and companion. But you better start training when they're very, very small, because soon they're going to be more than you can handle.